very much for um, for having us. I just want to um, apologise beforehand with the working from home situation. Uh, my kids are around, uh, so I apologise if they apologise if they burst in. I've also got bunnies running around the floor too, our pet rabbit. So uh, apologies if um, I suddenly go oh because there's a rabbit beside me. Um, the joys of working from home. Um, Nicole, do you want to pull up the slide pack and I can start my way through that. So um, just a quick introduction um, as to who, who I am. So my name's Rebecca, I'm in our Wellington um, Datacom office um, and I've been with Datacom for 14 years uh, and have had um, quite a range of roles since I've, I've been at Datacom. I actually came to Datacom from a hospitality background. Um, so for about eight years I bought and sold wine um, which was great within itself, um, needed a change um, and got an amazing opportunity uh, to come and work for Datacom as a service coordinator. Um, one of the things that is really great about Datacom is um, the opportunities that are, are before us um, with um, opportunities to, to work with many different customers, many different people, many different technologies. Uh, so I've um, I've worked my way through being a project coordinator uh, to project manager and into a team lead space. And now I look after my own team of developers, architects, business analysts and testers. Um, but my main passion um, is actually looking after our graduates that come into, into our Wellington office, so our graduates and our interns. Um, and working with Nicole uh, to support her with the grade recruitment um, and the graduate program that we have here in New Zealand. Um, so for, um, sorry, just checking my notes, hang on a minute. Um, do you wanna to move to the next slide, Nicole? Uh, thank you. So Datacom is one of Australasia's um, largest family owned IT company. Um, we were actually set up in 1965. So sorry, Claire, we, we beat Eagle by a couple of years there. Um, we have a staff of approximately 7,000 people, so that's around Australia, New Zealand, Malaysia, the Philippines. I think there's randomly an office in the UK of about four or five people and one in the US as well. Um, we have had a massive year this last year with our recruitment, even in the midst of a pandemic. Um, the recruitment team have been relentless in finding, finding people for us um, all over the place. Um, and in actual fact, last year, we've had our biggest um, graduate recruitment um, for a very long time. And it's been a really exciting year um, with seeing the new grads come through. Um, we've also um, now hit the top 25 of the top 100 graduate recruiters, which is really exciting. Um, and we're within the top five now for technology. And I think about two weeks ago, we uh, Datacom got put into the LinkedIn's top 25 workplaces. Uh, so for a number of a number of factors that brought us into that, but one of them certainly being um, our learning and education um, that we do through our um, our Aspire programs and our training platforms that we have as well. Um, can you move on to the next slide? Thanks, Nicole. So we have um, many many technology fields that we work across. Uh, as you can see by the slide, cyber software, AI, data centers, et cetera. Um, it's actually really hard to keep track of what we, what we do. Um, and it's quite common actually to be talking to somebody and to realize that we've kind of moved into another market or another technology or another area of business. Um, and suddenly we're, we're focusing our efforts on that and seeing what else is out there that we can move, move into. Um, I've often talked to people about Datacom being one of New Zealand's best kept secrets. Pretty much every New Zealander would have come into contact with a system or an app that um, Datacom have either had a hand in developing or that we support. So think for example, if you are doing your banking, um, bank to bank transfers is a system that we look after. Um, when you leave New Zealand and go on holiday, fingers crossed, um, the smart gates that we have at the airport is part of the customs network or custom system with DIA and MBIE, et cetera, um, that are supported by Datacom. 
um, when you eventually get to buy a house, the system that the lawyers all use to check land ownership, et cetera, is also a system that we, that we support. Um, and coincidentally, if you do work and you do like to get paid, uh, chances are we support the payroll system. So in addition to the technologies that we, that we work within um, and all the different areas, we obviously have customers um, and customers are, are quite critical to our business. Um, here in Wellington, um, the bulk of our customers will be New Zealand government, so many, many ministries having multiple applications and systems that we look, look after with them um, and uh, quite a few legacy systems, which is really great because you get to really find out about their, their ministry and their business and their customers and be part of transforming um, into, into a new application um, with, with some luck as well. Um, in, in, the, in Auckland and, and Christchurch, et cetera, we have obviously slightly different customers. It's not quite so, so um, government focused um, and definitely more commercial um, and full of lots of innovation and exciting opportunities um, up there as well. Uh, we have uh, a big part of our business are service desks and connect um, contact centers uh, that obviously provide that first level of support for our customers. Um, apologies, I keep saying, um, and uh, our accountants and our people and culture teams and all of our other support groups that actually make Datacom be the powerhouse that it is. So without the people, you know, behind, behind the people doing the technology, we don't really have much of a, of a, um, of a company either. So we have plenty of opportunities around the place for different uh, areas to get into IT. So like myself, I mentioned that I've been in the wine industry, coming and working in an IT company. I cannot talk technology, um, but I'm really passionate about the work that we do. Um, and that is actually what, you know, generally gets me through, um, gets me through the work that I'm doing. Um, I'll just, uh, sorry, Nicole, if you can just move on to the next, the next um, slide. So talking about our core values here. So this is um, obviously as part of a company, we have our purpose and our vision, but uh, one of the really big things that, that we've been working on this year, this past year, has been the, the refactoring, I suppose, of our core values um, and looking forward to how we can embrace those um, and how we can um, show our values with the work that we do with our customers um, and internally within Datacom as well. So exceeding customers' expectations, our customer success drives what we do. We walk in their shoes, we deliver on, on our promise, and we find ways to go above and beyond to help achieve their goals. So we, we try and really embed our, our people into our customers' business. Um, we feel that their business is our business um, and really look to understand everything it is about what they do. Um, look beyond today. So our curiosity drives our continuous evolution. We encourage freedom to explore, discover and learn. Together we can create an exciting future. Thrive together, actively collaborating and think long term for our customers, our partners and our people. Everyone has a part. We commit to respectfully see the world through our other people's eyes and encourage their contribution to a better place. It's the people. We are caring and humble and foster an environment where we can bring our best selves to work, our people make the difference. Encouraged to act, we are bold with our customers, partners and each other. We show strength and have confidence to speak up and take action. So we like to see our, our values in action. Nicole, next slide, please. Thank you. Um, and we see these through the impact that we want to have and how these values and impacts turn up in New Zealand communities and our commitment to investing in Aotearoa. So we've got many um, initiatives that we're part of, lots of different training programs that we work with. Uh, Tupatoa um, is one of our partners for our internship program, um, interns that often become graduates as well. Um, so many things there, I couldn't actually go through them all. Um, uh, just trying to think if there's anything else I need to add. Um, I think, oh, so, so the role that I have with the graduate, sorry, um, is when the, the, the graduate program that we have um, is that when they when the graduates have been selected to work with us and, and we've gone through interview processes and everything, 
um, the way that we've been structuring um, our intakes over the last year or two have been bringing, bringing the cohort in at, at the same time, um, having inductions, and we have been um, encouraging the, the time that it takes to learn. So from a perspective of the, the customers that we have, the technologies that we use, we, we really like to encourage the graduates to take their time with learning about the business um, and learning the, the technology that a certain customer might have that we put them with. Um, and then we work at having as many people from Datacom coming and interacting with our graduates as we can. So we have uh, lunchtime sessions where we can ask questions and meet different people around the business, learn um, different technologies, um, encouraging our graduates to put their hand up when they want to learn more about a certain thing. Um, we also have a graduate project that is run for three months um, for a couple of hours every week. Uh, where we put the graduates together um, into teams. Uh, they have an idea, they come up with a concept um, and then we, we progressively work towards what an MVP might look like um, with a presentation back to uh, our directors and MD um, around you know, the learnings that the graduates have had. So the, the premise of the project is not so much what that MVP is, but more the process that the grades have gone through to um, make new connections, learn something new, and actually work together um, under very loose project-like conditions. Um, and then throughout the rest of the year, we have um, events where they can connect through each other. Um, obviously, we have at Datacom um, other events within the wider group, but trying to encourage that cohort of graduates to really connect um, and work together because as you come through, the people that you're learning with will be learning the same things as you and they're going through the same similar experiences. So having that connection with them is really, really important um, for us at Datacom. Um, I'm going to hand over to you, Nicole. Cool. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Um, I think I saw a question pop up earlier. Um, I can't see the chat box at the moment, but um, I'll, at the end of this, I'll um, quickly open it and we can answer any questions that you might have. Um, so I am the, the grad recruiter for Datacom um, for New Zealand. I am based in Australia <laughs> where um, the, the grad recruitment team will be growing in, in New Zealand soon as well. Um, so I'm excited to, to talk about um, some of our employment opportunities um, and the other areas where you can engage and, and upskill um, with Datacom. So, um, we do have applications open at the moment. So if you're graduating uh, mid-year or at the end of this year, we have lots of opportunities um, uh, open at the moment. Um, I will ping, uh, I will send the, the link um, to the applications in the chat. Um, you can also have a look at Datacom's profile um, on Grad New Zealand as well. Um, with our um, early careers or, or graduate roles, um, the, the beauty of Datacom having such a wide scope of opportunities and, and areas to develop um, means that there's, you know, that the opportunities are endless. We also don't expect you to know exactly what you want to do or to understand the complex matrix of Datacom. So all you have to do is submit an application into the graduate program job. Um, and then part of the recruitment process will be to have a chat with you, understand what you're interested in, what, um, you know, where your skills lie and your strengths and then from there we can together work out the best pathway for you at Datacom. Um, the recruitment process is, is designed to be super fast but thorough uh, so after getting to know you a little bit better and, and your interests um, we'll connect you with the team that you'll potentially be working with so you can get a feel for the environment, the working culture, the day-to-day -day responsibilities as well and make sure that as well as us assessing that you're the right fit you can make sure that Datacom is the right fit for you as well. Uh, so uh, I think it's, it's uh, Rebecca touched on this as well, uh, a big part of 
when we recruit grads into Datacom is a consistent process, regardless of the area of the business that you join, you know, there's lots of ways for you to continually upskill once you join Datacom, you can reskill. Um, there's lots of ways for to connect you with your peers as well in the community. So through those lunchtime sessions, um, through our Aspire goal setting and, um, and transform. So if you join Datacom in a certain area, but then, you know, you're really passionate about cybersecurity, for example, you can actually join an internal program to start to upskill and certify in that space. And we can help create that pathway for you into the, a new area of Datacom. Um, another thing that I wanted to touch on is Talent X. Uh, so we actually relaunched Talent X uh, last year. And um, it's a really exciting initiative and a great way to start to build your knowledge of the tech industry. So um, who and, and what is Talent X? So essentially Talent X is anyone who's passionate about technology. Um, you might have a strong technical background, you might not know anything about tech at all, but you're keen to start a career in technology. Um, you might be reskilling or just starting out. Perfect if you've just started university as well. You're in, you know, the first couple of years, you're still sign of still navigating where your interests are. Um, so Talent X is essentially a way for you to build your your knowledge of, of the tech industry and the, the career pathways um, that are available. So we have an online platform um, hosted in Slack where you can join. Um, we've got lots of Datacom experts in there already. Um, there's lots of different channels of different career pathways. Um, we share links to free training platforms. Um, any new opportunities that come available throughout the year will post into this group as well. So it's a great way to, to stay on top of um, new opportunities, um, engage with, with experts, ask questions and start to, to build your knowledge and um, understanding of the different career pathways that are available. Because um, ch chances are, you know, tech is such a, a broad area that there might be an opportunity, that, um, an opportunity that you hadn't really thought about before. Um, so there's the online platform. Um, and then we also have data comp coming back in 2022. So um, we haven't been able to hold data comp for the last couple of years due to COVID, but very excited to be um, launching it again this year. Data comp is data comms annual innovation competition. So we um, have 48 hour uh, window where our clients will propose challenges to us and the and datacom employees will work in teams to rapid prototype and, and solve those problems and then at the end of it present their solution um, back to our clients and, and leadership team so um, really great way to build your skills and as opposed to the traditional hackathon where you work side by side with fellow students you'll be working with experts so we open the doors to a very small group of students to come in and collaborate alongside our datacom teams um, so a really great way to get a sense of what it's like to work for a client to get exposure to that rapid brainstorming and, and innovation um, and how it works at, at Datacom. So it's a great way to build your skills. Um, and in the lead up to that event as well, we also have Keeping Sharp sessions, um, which is all about getting you prepared for, for Datacom. So those cover everything from emerging technologies, um, design tools, Miro, um, design thinking, um, heaps and heaps and heaps of different training sessions. Um, they all usually go for about an hour and they're virtual and it's just a great way to, to start to build your skills um, for the future as well. So I'll share details on Data Comp as well. Um, it's taking place in August this year. So make sure you don't miss out um, for that one. Um, so yeah, that, uh, that's, that's Datacom. Um, I will stop sharing just for a moment um, so that I can open up the chat box and we can answer any questions that you have. Just give me one.